Hi, Randy Klingscales. This is our Klingscales Weekly Wisdom. Uh, this year, uh, uh, or this month, actually, we're uh, talking about uh, World Alzheimer's Month. Uh, and so we're going to talk about uh, some caregiver tips uh, uh, going forward uh, for you that are caregivers of people that are dealing with uh, Alzheimer's or dementia. Uh, so caregiver tip number one is you can't pour from an empty cup. And what that means is, is that if you go into, if you're trying to be a caregiver and you're exhausted and uh, uh, your tank is empty, uh, you're not gonna do a good job. And so uh, one of the things that we like to talk about with our clients is that the most important thing that they can do for their person with their family member with dementia is to take care of themselves first. Uh, uh, because again, you cannot pour uh, water from an empty cup. Uh, and so there are several ways to do that. There's physical activity, uh, uh, learn uh, relaxation techniques, uh, getting yourself out of the situation. And we'll talk a little bit about that later on in one of our other tips. Uh, and also, uh, uh, there's, there's, there's strength in numbers. And so if you can find somebody that's also going through uh, the same journey that you are on and that you can share uh, what your concerns are and your worries and your frustrations, that's really helpful. Caregiver tip number two is to give your relationship love and attention. And what I mean by that is that I, I know when I was caring for my grandmother, there was a time when I felt like that I had, all I was doing was caregiving and, and not being able to, to, to be a grandson. And, and so with the aid of one of our care coordinators from my office, who helped me oversee my grandmother's care, uh, as well as the help of my, of, of my wife, I was able to step back and, and, and be, be a caregiver, uh, but also be a grandson. Uh, and, and it gave me a much better perspective. Uh, it's so easy to lose that, that relationship that you had before the dementia. Um, and, and sometimes being able to step back and get help, then it allows you to you know, be a spouse or, or, or be a son or, or, or a, a grandchild. Um, caregiver's tip number three is watch for signs of stress. This is really important. Uh, anxiety, depression, irritability, uh, feeling tired and run down, uh, neglecting tasks that you used to do uh, on your own without any kind of problems, uh, cutting back on your leisure activities, withdrawing from uh, social situations like uh, your bridge club or uh, your sorority or whatever it is, uh, overreacting to minor problems that ordinarily you wouldn't wouldn't phase you uh, in, in becoming increasingly resentful. The, all, all of those are signs of stress. They're not signs of you being a bad person. They're signs of stress. Caregiver tip number four is combat stress. And how do you do that? Again, take it one day at a time. Uh, uh, learn re relaxation techniques. Um, combat negative moods by sharing uh, your feelings with others, uh, get, get enough sleep and lots of sunshine, uh, get enough exercise uh, and physical activity. And, and please don't be afraid to seek out uh, professional help. It's okay. It's okay to seek professional help. So let's move to caregiver tip number five. Uh, that's communicating your loved one with communicating with the, your loved one that has dementia. And I see this as a, a real problem when people come into my office. Uh, I had uh, somebody in my office uh, uh, just a few days ago. Um, and, um, you know, I, I know that he was very frustrated with having to remind her of, about stuff. Uh, so, Try not to argue, uh, try to agree if you can with the per person with dementia. Uh, rather than reason, a lot of times it's much better to divert and move on to another topic. Um, don't try to embarrass the person. Uh, and I know you're not trying to do it, but 
you know, I just kind of remember, I always take the philosophy that they understand what's going on. Um, and so I'm, I don't want to say anything in front of them that would cause them to be embarrassed. Um, I, I don't ever know exactly how much they understand. Uh, so I'm just going to presume they understand everything. Uh, and, and avoid words like remember. Uh, that's a very hurtful word uh, because a lot of times they can't remember, uh, even though you have told them that 10 minutes ago. Um, and so in, instead, try to reminisce. And um, uh, it, it many times, it's, 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 it's don't say, I already told you that. It's maybe trying to re repeat or regroup or redirect. Uh, rather than saying, you can't do that, mom, uh, it's sometimes really helpful to say, hey, mom, how about rather than driving to the store, we walk? Uh, or how about, you know, this again, try to, to uh, emphasize what they can do versus what they can't, can't do. And, and, and don't con be condescending, but instead try to encourage or, or, or praise. And, and rather than enforce, try to reinforce uh, what, uh, what they can do. Uh, and then my last caregiver tip, uh, number six, is allow others to help you. Again, very important. So classic, classic example is uh, you're, somebody comes up and they know about your situation. They say, how can I help you? And most people say, oh, I'm fine, and so forth. Instead, what I tell my clients is say, hey, I can't think of anything right now, but can I take your name? And if something comes up, I will call you. And then keep a list of those people so that so when something comes up uh, uh, and you need to get away for 30 minutes or an emergency comes up or whatever, you can give that, you have a list of people you can call. Uh, so uh, even though you may not know what they can do at that moment, accept that offer so that maybe you can uh, call on that later on. Use support groups. Uh, that's really important. Um, uh, there's online support groups. We have a, a support group here in Hayes. Uh, some are virtual, some are in person, but use those support groups. And, and again, don't be afraid to seek professional help. So those are my six caregiver uh, 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 tips. Um, I just want to remind you that we are having a workshop in Wichita. I would like to invite you to that. That's on uh, September 16th, we have one at 10 o'clock and one at two o'clock. One of them is about what you need to know for the second half of life. And the other is about how to pay for long-term care. Uh, and if you're interested, uh, call the number on the screen, 658040, or you can go to our website, uh, clinkscaleslaw.com backslash events. Or if we can help you in any way, again, call the number. Thank you. And we will talk again next week. Uh, during this uh, recognition of world of world Alzheimer's month.